next section will be the lifelong proactive lifestyle for brain health promotion. We discussed uh, already about the five critical factors for brain health. I'd like to now give you the latest research uh, about what we know within each of those factors or domains that you can do yourself, you can choose to do, um, to pro promote your brain health. The first one we talked about was socialization. We learned a long time ago that socialization is important for rats and non-human primates, across their lifespan, by the way, which means the equivalent of humans being uh, in their 70s. Is socialization important for, for humans? Usually the response is a quick yes. But I want you to think about it in terms of the brain. What do we know from research? What does it tell us? Research tells us that human beings, particularly as they get older, if they isolate, have a higher risk for what is known as dementia. Dementia is just a, a general term we use to describe a loss of intelligence, memory decline, loss of language and other cognitive problems, personality change, and functional decline. Now there's a hundred causes of dementia. The number one cause is Alzheimer's disease. Makes up 50 to 70 percent of all dementias in the United States of America. Very progressive type of dementia. So we don't want individuals to isolate. We don't want people to segregate. Well think about that in the United States of America. Don't we have a policy called retirement? Where essentially what we're doing is we're paying people to isolate and segregate. An enlightened society would pay people to stay involved. And that might mean a paid job. We still are in an archaic system for some professions, pilots come to mind, where you have to resign or retire based on a chronological age. Not based on functionality, but based on a chronological age. Itself made up. Chronological age is made up. And trust me when I tell you that your favorite senator uh, from your state doesn't know why we use 65 to create these kinds of social policies like retirement or Medicare or Social Security. The secret is we adopted that age cutoff from a guy named Bismarck who used to be a leader of Germany, you remember from your history course in high school, almost 200 years ago. Okay. So an enlightened society would probably say, you know, 65 is middle age given our longevity uh, these days. That if you want those kind of policies in middle age, you can vote for them, but we're living so long these days and we're living healthy that we need to rethink those kind of policies. So we don't want you to retire. I don't want you to retire. I want you to keep working as long as you can. That might mean a paid job, it might not, but what we need boomers to understand, if you're born between 46 and 64 and you're watching this today, you're a baby boomer. You're very interested in health, probably more so than your mom or dad ever was, and that's a good thing. I want you to develop hobbies. And the reason is this, because we still live in a system where you might be told you can't work anymore because of a crazy policy called uh, retirement. Well, if you have hobbies, once that void becomes present because you stop working, you're going to be able to fill the void with meaningful pursuits, things that get you up each and every day that uh, make you feel excited. Most of Americans don't even know what makes them excited. They don't understand why they're on the planet Earth. So we don't take the time to think about it that kind of funny question. But sometimes when time opens up for you, you can fill that time by thinking about what really drives you, why you're really here. It might have nothing to do with your job. But that's how you want to think about hobby development, talent acquisition and development, and filling your time each and every day with very meaningful pursuits. Probably be good for you to join new clubs. Contact friends and family. Maintain your social network and try to grow it over time and if if you're like uh, some of us we might see ourselves as being a little shy we gotta kinda work on that and break through that remember this is all about personal change looking at our awards psychologically so and changing them uh, to become stronger you know we all have probably someone in our life circle who we were close to but somehow we've uh, shut them out or we've been shut out from them and forgiveness is very very important uh, it's a, it's a healing kind of thing that we can do if we simply swallow our pride and forgive someone and bring them back into our life, increasing that social network, so important uh, to the brain.